after five years, Stacy arrived. And in between all this, Frank and I did a lot of traveling with the children and without the children. We went to many, very exciting places. One year, Frank and I went with our friends, the Blachers. We went to uh, the Far East. That was a very exciting holiday. Three weeks, they were the TFC tours, and they really were great. Another time we went to, uh, we came to Israel in 1972 on a tour again. We did Greece. No, it wasn't, that wasn't a tour. We did Greece with our friends Margot and Arnold Bennett. Greece, um, Paris, and London. I had two uncles in Israel, my brother, my mother's brothers, who she hadn't seen in 40 years. I saw her brothers before she did. We spent 10 days in Israel and we did tours. We joined up with tours. We also went to Switzerland and we went to four places in Switzerland and ended up in um, where we went to the Jungfrau and that was something because we had never seen snow. Well, it wasn't snowing, but there was snow on the ground. And when we walked outside from the building to see the snow, in the snow was a huge mug and dovet that somebody had drawn into the snow. And that was really exciting. Cold, but exciting. We played with the snow. The four of us were like children. It was just such fun. Unfortunately, they both aren't here, as the Bachers aren't here. Great friends, great friends. We were very lucky in Salisbury. but we really had good friends, meaningful friends. I'm going back a little bit in time to talk about the children. Melanie went to Sharon's school. Anthony went to Sharon's school. Gary went to Sharon's school and Stacy went to Sharon's school and we had all four of them there at the same time. And so did Anthony and so did Gary until 1980 when Gary went to Johannesburg to King David. Stacy was head girl at Sharon's school and there she started her acting career. It was Toad of Toad Hall, and she took the lead, or I think she was the rat, something like that. But when she went to Arundel, she took the lead in an Irish play, and her headmistress came to me and said she had taken that the accent, she had the, the lead, she had taken the accent of the Irish. As a Rhodesian girl, nobody would have known. She was fantastic. That's where she started her acting career. She also did a course at University of Social Anthropology, going together with her drama. And then she did performance as well, going to walk together with the three, so that there were three courses she did in. Anthony went to Johannesburg and he finished school and did a course in tool making, tool and dye. And then he went to Durban to university after all that and did um, mechanical engineering, which he now does in Canada. Gary went to college and he did um, the business course and it has stood him in good stead. Melanie was 
active typing, but now she looks after children. She's taking after me. Um, now back to where I am. Oh, Frank opened a factory. I didn't talk about that to start with. He started a factory in, I think it was round about 67. 1967. And, um, he did a chemical factory and he called it Nadine Chemical Industries. And he made detergents, floor polish, car engine cleaners. He had about 12 different things that he made. But the funniest thing was with the detergent, he made three different colors. One was pink, one which he called Pink Pal, with stuffing an elephant stuffing his big top hat. The second one was the green one, which didn't have any uh, smell that was. The second was green, and the third was a lemon color and it's not of lemons. And all my friends said, do you know, out of all the, the detergents that Frank makes, the, the pink one dotting the cap, hat was the best. But little did they know that they were all the same detergent, just different colors. It shows what the mind does. I had premises with Mr. Donna in the light industrial sites and he decided to make the place bigger so they had to move out. Then he went to another area and he thought, I'm not going to start moving backwards and forwards, I'm going to build my own factory. And he ended up by finding a fantastic lot of ground, which was an acre in Willowvale. And he built two factories, one to let out, and he had half an acre of ground, thinking he might expand. But we never did because UDI ended and the he was in manufacturing for 37 years and then decided to retire. And we, in between, as I said before, we, we went traveling. We did a lot of traveling. We went to Amsterdam and we went to Paris again. We went to many places and had good times. We decided to, we visited all our children when they had moved all over the world and we visited Israel a few times to see Melanie and we met, Dave Bloom came to visit us on one of our trips to Israel and we were starting to think about making Aliyah and he drove us around showing us different apartments in different areas. We weren't allowed to take out very much money and things would have been a bit tough. And I wasn't that happy about some of the areas that they showed me. We went back home on that last trip that you showed us and really thought very seriously about moving. And then something happened with our money. We woke up one morning and from all our millions we had left 46 cents and life became very, very difficult. And we relied on my son Gary to help us and we sold a lot of our antiques and we managed then one day, one o'clock in the morning, 
South Africans came through the large window, breaking it with one of my pot plant holders. And they attacked Frank and I, who were fast asleep. In seconds they were on top of me, and Frank managed to shoot one of them while he was grappling with him. He shot him through, he, the gun was in a bank bag, and he shot him through the holster and through the bank bag into his stomach. But then the others, he didn't fall, he was actually high, they were all high. And the one on sitting on me was hitting me on the side of the face with a gun. The other three were grappling with Frank. And the fifth one that was shot was walking around the room shouting, where's, where's the alarm, where's the alarm, which was going off. And uh, I kept telling him it was in the cupboard near the door, near the window, which had a door. And what saved us was they were busy kicking Frank on the floor, covering him with a sheet which they pulled off the bed. And what saved us was the phone rang, and it was my neighbour next door. It was my neighbour next door, and they were wonderful. Whenever they heard the alarm during the night, they would always phone to find out. We didn't have a, an alarm, a service anymore. We couldn't afford it. And uh, they came, actually what happened was when they phoned and shout, help us, and the African sitting on me took the gun from my hand, hitting me on the top of my arm, my hand, and took the phone and broke it in half. But the one said we'd better get going, that was where the police were coming, and they just ran. Within seconds, my neighbors were in with their staff, and they switched on the lights and took us to hospital. And then Frank and I decided it was definitely time to go. We went to Johannesburg to make arrangements. And they kept insisting that we must have a rabbi who knew us to confirm that we were Jewish. And Frank and I had our ketubah with us. And we said that was the only proof we had because we did not have a rabbi in Zimbabwe. No, they would not accept our ketubah. And just then, in walked Rabbi Silvanus. And he was able to confirm the Frank and I so well from Salisbury. He was wonderful. He brought us a place of thicker goodies and many times just popped in just to see if we were all okay. He was wonderful to us. But thank God for him, we had everything that we needed to make Aliyah. On making Aliyah, we decided to come to Kamiel because it was the closest to our daughter Melanie, who was on a Moshav 20 minutes away from Kamiel. Moshav is Manos. And when we saw Kamiel and the roses, sold it. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. And we were welcomed with open arms by all here. The fantastic times we had with me when Frank was with me, but he passed away last year in January. And I had wonderful support. I couldn't have had better support. Wonderful friends, wonderful camaraderie between everybody. And we both loved to being here and coming up. And I love being here and coming.